to mahendraguru.com today we are going to have a final video session on the topic dll data link layer the second layer of osi model from last three sessions we are having the discussion over the data link layer the subdivisions of data link layer etc 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 today we are going to have the final dis uh, discussion on dll the protocols and devices associated with dll so let us begin with the topic okay first of all let us have a view of the seven layer architecture of osi model the fact that should be memorized is we have to follow the bottom top approach the first one the second one the third one and so on the total layers in osi are seven following the bottom top approach okay now here we have the subdivisions of data link layer let us let us let, let, let us see it again data link layer the first subdivision llc logical link control and the second subdivision media access control okay now what we have now we have the actual position the actual location of what the actual location of dll the second layer of osi model now what happens let us see the dll data link layer falls in between the network and the physical layer the network and the physical layer so let us move on to, on to, the, on to the next slide now what we have we have the protocols what are basically protocols protocols are basically set of rules we are often asked in the examination dash is a set of rules protocols are the set of rules let us begin and see what all protocols falls in the dll layer okay the first protocol which we can see here is the atm asynchronous transfer mode now what is atm is it a machine that dispenses cash is it so yes it is but here atm is actually a protocol let's see what atm does standards developed by atm is actually a standard a protocol developed by itu that transfers data in form of packet or cells of fixed size point to be noted here is of fixed size of fixed size this is an important point the cells or the packets are of fixed size that may carry complete range of user traffic including voice data and video signals over a network now atm is a protocol that is used to what that is used to transfer packets or cells of fixed length of fixed size that may include what data that data can be a voice data a video data a textual data or any other kind of data moving over to the next protocol arp address resolution protocol one of the most important protocol of dll if you have a look on this protocol and if you go through books regarding the arp you will come to know that arp actually falls in the 2.5 layer of osi now is it possible no it means that the arp is the main or the major part of dll the major protocol of dll that actually operates with the above the network layer now what arp does ip address is known in case the ip address is known the physical address of the device is searched this is function of arp and the opposite of this is done by R A R P reverse address resolution protocol. Okay, the next protocol that we have is SLIP, serial line internet protocol. Now, does it defines anything? Yes, it does. The word serial. The word serial here defines something that is related to serial connection. Serial line internet protocol designed to work on serial ports. Now, we have two types of ports: the parallel port and the serial port. The SLIP is a protocol that operates on the serial ports okay the next protocol ppp a simple protocol point to point protocol as the name implies point to point means a connection a protocol used to establish direct connection between two nodes as simple as that a protocol that is used to establish direct connection between two nodes between two points or between two computers or between two any segment any element sorry that is located on a network okay now what we have 
we have the devices that operates on DLL. Let us have a view what all devices operate on DLL. The first one we have is a switch. Switch. We have discussed this it before. What is actually a switch? A switch is actually an intelligent hub. It works on the principle of delivering data to the specific port, to the specific address. Now, why is switch known as intelligent hub? As we know, switch is used to connect various nodes on a network as hub used to do, but switch does not demonstrate some broadcasting it. Switch delivers the packet, sorry, the data on a particular address, on a particular address. That is the point that should be noted now. Okay. Next we have bridge. Bridge is a network device that operates on DLL. Very true. Now, as the name implies bridge, bridge means to bridge up the gap, to sum up the gap, to uh, lessen the gap, to re reduce the gap between two nodes or between two points. Here, a bridge, a, a network device, bridge is used to sum up the gap or reduce the gap between two LAN or two LAN segments. It operates on the DLL. Now, what we have? Now, we have the question answer round. Let's see. Can you guess the right or the correct answer? Name the upper sub layer of DLL. Okay. It is logical link control layer. Is it so? Is it the upper one or the lower one? Okay. LLC provides interface between dash and dash layer. LLC provides interface between the MAC and, and the network layer. Okay. The next question. Dash layer provides the interface between physical layer and the LLC. Now, you should answer this question. Dash is the layer that provides interface between the physical layer and the LLC. Physical layer, the layer number one, LLC, the upper subdivision of DLL. Now, name the layer that provides the interface between these two. Yes, you are right. It is, it is media access control layer. So, hope so. This video session is a useful one to you. The next digi page will be on network layer, the layer 3 of OSI model. So that was all for today with the topic DLL protocol and devices. Do post a comment on mahindraguru.com and do subscribe us on YouTube. Thank you. Your success is awesome.